Good morning, everybody. <laughs> I thought today would be a good day to start the day off with rhubarb crumble. Uh, we like ours with custard on the top. I don't know if you know how to make it or not. Maybe I'll teach you. <laughs> we'll see. So there's no point in growing all this food that we grow if we're not going to use it. So I am making myself stay inside today. I have a huge list. This is my list of all the things that I want to make this spring. It's a lot, I know, but some of it's super quick, some of it's super simple. I want to take you guys along for as many of these things as possible. We have such fun things on this list, like a rhubarb sunshine concentrate I've been using forever. It's not my recipe, but I will definitely link it below. Uh, we've been making it, gosh, for probably six years now, at least. Plus, there are things like rhubarb wine, dandelion wine, um, nettle and asparagus soup, which is what we ate for dinner last night. And I will tell you my <laughs> trick to making it so that kids will actually eat it. Uh, let's see, what else is on the list? Violet flower jelly, which is so pretty. Um, so anyway, I need to figure out what I have time for today because I'm teaching a class on herb gardening tonight. So I have to be finished up with whatever these processes are before that point. And I kind of need to see what the kids want to make for their tea party on Friday. So I will try to record as many of these things as possible. So buckle up. It's going to be a lot. I will leave all of the recipes linked down in the description box. Some are mine. Some are not. Some are, we've changed them to be what suits our family. So I will leave all of that information down in the description box. So check it out after this video. Let's go. So I talked to the kids. They have decided that they want today to be a dandelion day, which is great. I like it. So we're gonna do dandelion cookies. I have a recipe that I followed a long time ago, but we did not like the recipe. So I'm gonna change it a little bit and I will put my changes down in the description for you. We're gonna make dandelion play-doh because that's gonna keep them busy while I, I can keep working. And uh, let's see what else. Oh, and I'm gonna start my dandelion wine. Um, dandelion wine is super, super sweet. So I'll tell you about it as we go, but I like having it on hand cause it's kind of a fun intro for people who think dandelions are just weeds and not food. So I like having it on hand. We're gonna start there and then maybe tomorrow it's gonna be a rhubarb day and then they wanna do their tea party violet themed. So the lion's gonna make this. We're gonna make, what are we making? Dandelion Play-Doh. Yeah. Okay, so this just boiled. So we have a couple handfuls, technically an adult handful, but actually kid handfuls of dandelions in here. And we're gonna pour our boiling water over and then Eli, blend them up. Okay, we're switching to the baby bullet. It made a whirlpool. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's better. Now we're gonna mix in some salt. The other stuff. Oh yeah, that's way better. We gotta go quick. I two out. tablespoons of cream of tartar. It says one to two. I don't know. We're gonna do two. Yeah, I'd do two. Okay, you mix it. Oh. <laughs> no lumps. And two tablespoons. I'm just gonna use canola oil because I don't have any um vegetable baby I... oil. This. Oh. Yep. Okay. Now you gotta get all the lumps out of it. And then just do one more and we'll add the last one in slowly. So this, this is a half cup measuring, so it's two cups of flour. Okay, now get the next one ready. Got it. Tell me when. Well, it yep. looks like dough. Go for it. It, it is dough. Okay. Uh, it doesn't smell very great. So, do you want it to be lemon? Yes, I want it to smell like lemon. Okay, so put in uh, two drops, maybe? Two? Mm -hmm. Quickly. That's good. Okay, that's Whoa. a lot. 
Oh, it's gonna be very lemony. <laughs> Dandelion lemon play doh. Oh, yeah. That would smell delicious. But you can't eat it. Well, <laughs> technically, you could eat everything in here. It just wouldn't taste very good. <laughs> play doh containers. Oh, yes. Yeah. Snake. All right. Sweet. Cool. Alive? Ben found a yeah. snake. Just a oh, garter snake. Don't worry. We don't have any rattlesnakes. Okay, still too sticky. We don't have any rattlesnakes or king cobras. <laughs> nope. None of those around here. Because we're in Idaho. No desert. <laughs> you want to put that in the sink, please? Yes. Roger, roger. Okay. There is our dandelion play doh. It? It's a little sticky. Ooh, and word. So, yep. So, we're gonna cut it into thirds and let the kids play with it now. Oh. What'd you find, Ben? A block. A skink. skink. Oh, Blue yeah. Tail skink. Wait, Blue tail skink. skink. Uh oh, did he lose a tail? Yeah. Oh. I accidentally pulled it off. Oh, poor guy. And he'll grow it. Yeah. Where'd can, you find him? Can we pet him? Uh, under logs. Can we yeah, pet that's him? right. You can pet him, but then you gotta wash your hands. Can Ben keep him? Aww. Can I keep him? No, we can't keep him, but you can let him go by the pond. He'll probably like that. Uh, um, and you found a snake out there too, right? Yeah. Wow. I found two That's and I found the thousands of spiders. Under I caught a blue skink right here, and he's he's isn't that cool? You, I accidentally pulled his tail off, and. I'm going to let him in a box right here. Yeah. Ooh. Come on. No, you're not going to kick him out or you're going to let him go. Let him go. Come out. Here's one. Here we go. blood. Yeah, he'll grow a new one. Okay. I'm making this. Let's fry. I'm making Chinese spaghetti. <laughs> Can I have a bowl to put my spaghetti in? Sure. Wait, you are having a study? No, it's pretend. While they play with their dandelion play-doh, I am going to make dandelion cookies. Now I've made these before, and like I said, there's gonna be some of these recipes that definitely need to be changed, and this is one of them. So I have a couple of additions, but I will leave the original recipe down in the box for you guys. So first, let's get our, this is half a cup of oil and half a cup of honey. I just mixed it in the same container for ease because I'm gonna be cooking so much today. I wanted simplicity. So if I would have thought about it, I would have done this with coconut oil, which would have been a lot better, but I'm just using coconut oil, coconut, not using coconut oil, canola oil. <laughs> so we've got that. I'm gonna throw in our, I think I'll add in our vanilla. So it's about a teaspoon. You know if I do major, I'm very generous. And then we're going to add in two eggs. If you're using farm eggs, be sure and break them into a different container just in case. You just never know. Let's add in our dandelion flowers. Now, here's the trick. The green part of dandelion is very bitter, and you don't really want that in your cookies. So I'm just going to pop off the petals and discard yeah, but yeah, long the snake stem. Was. So we want yeah, to keep the petals and long. toss the stem. But, yeah. I'll put those in this bowl here for the chickens. You know, your so we have about a half a cup or so turn. of dandelion petals. We want about a cup of flour. And I think I'm going to sprinkle in a tiny bit of cinnamon. Maybe like a quarter to a half a teaspoon. Just sounds good. all the lumps out of there. 
that's pretty good. Now we're gonna fold in, fold in a cup of oats as well as what what did you do to me we're going to use most of our petals here i'll save a few okay for decoration and then yeah, I have since we're folding in all these ingredients this. i'm just going to mix them in together we're going to do like a yeah, quarter yeah, cup or so maybe yeah. a few more of yeah, white yeah. chocolate chips okay that's pretty runny so i think we're gonna add in a little bit more oats another quarter cup or so and i think that'll be fine these are sort of a drop cookie which is fine but I don't want them running all over my cookie sheet either. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So if I drop it, it should stay. You can see it kind of stays on the fork pretty well. That's what we want. Well, I'm gonna put them on the cookie sheet. What's the matter? Oh, did it fall out of your hair? Can't you hear it? You want to show them your hair? Look at her pretty hair. Now we're just going to drop these onto this cookie sheet here. They are going to spread a little. It's okay. I don't mind that they do that. You have to go flat with the shoes. Yeah, the fish is as flat as a pancake. Okay, we'll get these in the oven uh, 375 for about 10 or 12 minutes. While our cookies are in the oven, let's make an orange glaze for the top. So I've had these cookies before and they really just lacked like sweetness and yeah, flavor. And honestly, if you're gonna eat a cookie, you kinda want yeah, it sweet. So yeah. just have an orange here. I'm gonna slice it in half and get my juicer. Oh, mama, a steaming May I please help? Yes, you wanna help? Turn that over. Here's your fork. Okay. Yeah, go flat. Huge what did I have to do? My We're gonna mix is. that in. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, mix it, it up. Smells good. Mm -hmm. What color is it, Abby? Are we right? Orange. Orange. So we don't want it to be super thick because this is like a glaze. We want it to be really thin over the top. I have this goat milk out just in case, but I think it's thin enough. I don't think we need any. Make sure there's no lumps in it. Mom, did you So we up? actually made that a little too thin, so I'm going to get some more powdered sugar. Hang on. Uh, thick enough to stay on the cookie once it's cooled. Look how pretty it is. Mom, did you yeah. Since I am trying to make as many things as possible today for dandelion, I thought I would also make a dandelion chive compound butter. So I have my chives here. They have not gone to flower yet. So just snip a few off. And then we need to find some dandelions that the dog has not been around. Set these guys inside and we'll go find some dandelion greens. All right, so along this wall here, I have these dandelions. Aster doesn't really go over here. We don't need very much. That should do. We're only making a small bit of butter. It's a little cold and chilly today and definitely rained last night. So none of our dandelions are open today, making my day a little bit more challenging. So we'll have to wait till this afternoon to pick dandelions for wine. Yeah, that smells so good in here. There we go. Thanks, buddy. Careful, they're gonna be sticky. They are Ooh. sticky. Does grandma want one? Sure. You want flowers or no flowers on the top? Dandelion. Can I say yes? Right, yes. That I one? Ate nuts. Yum. I am eating 
Yeah. Mom, tonight. Mm, they're good. Well, we enjoyed our cookies. They turned out so good. So the addition of the cinnamon and the extra oatmeal, oh man, made them really good. So I suggest doing that. I, like I said, I will leave the original recipe down in the description box for you guys. And I uh, hope you enjoy. Hit that little subscribe button. What was that, Ben? Hit the little subscribe button. <laughs> ben says, please hit the little subscribe button. <laughs> if you're enjoying this video. Thanks, guys. <laughs> and a thumbs up. <laughs> Let's finish up our compound butter. Um, so I have some chives here. I have some dandelion greens. I have a few petals and I have a homemade butter that I made a couple of days ago. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to prep all the ingredients here first. So I'm just going to take these scissors and snip the chives into some tiny pieces. We're gonna do the same thing with our dandelion. All right, while I'm snipping this up, I thought I would remind you guys, if you have not seen any of our foraging videos, make sure that when you are foraging for anything that you are not pulling it out of a sprayed lawn. Make sure the animals have not had access to what you are grabbing. So like these dandelions, the dandelions from the Play-Doh came out of our yard because we're not eating it, but these dandelions did not, well, okay, that's not true. They did come out of our yard, but they came out of a protected space that I know the dog doesn't go. There we go. All right, so we've just minced that up really well. This butter has been softened. It's just been sitting on the counter for a little while. And now we're just gonna add in so I would say I have about a total of two tablespoons here and I'm back. This is why I made the Play-Doh for them and the cookies for them <laughs> was so that they would be happy and fun while I finished a few other things like compound butter that they don't care about. So a uh, compound butter is really just a fancy term for mixing stuff in your butter and making like a flavored butter. You can whip it if you want to. I'm not going to with this because it's just wonderful the way it is, homemade butter. And I did make a whole bunch of fresh bread yesterday. So I think the kids probably will like this if I do it in like a garlic bread style. Um, so making compound butters is a great way to utilize the fresh greens and um, herbs and things from the garden and be able to store it for later. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix this in there. On, for this particular one, we're actually going to eat it today but normally I would be mixing this in there preserving these fresh chives and throwing it in my freezer for use in the winter time when you want something a little bit fancy to pull out at Christmas time or Thanksgiving or some parties or holidays this is always a big hit so uh, a trick for dan dandelions if you're gonna harvest them if you want them for medicine, harvest them out of the sun. They're going to be very strong. They're gonna not be very good for fresh eating because they're gonna get very bitter in that sunshine. And, but the medicine content is gonna go up. If you want them for fresh eating, then harvest them where they've been growing in the shade and that will help the bitter factor and it will make them much more palatable, especially if you're feeding them to kids. My, I do not believe in hiding vegetables in foods so that my kids eat them. I tell them what they're eating. I made the leek and asparagus and nettle soup last night for dinner. It was green. <laughs> um, but what I did was I took a previous recipe that I've used for just a regular potato soup and I adapted that recipe and combined it with an asparagus and leek soup, which I personally enjoy. And I kind of put the two recipes together and then blended it all up so there were no chunks and they actually ate it. Two of them enjoyed it. One of them not so much, but I think it was a color thing, not so much the flavor because they liked the potato soup and it really didn't taste a whole lot different than that. But also my mom now has eaten uh, nettle soup and enjoyed that and then she liked our dandelion cookies today. So I'm winning people over with these recipes and I'm so excited. All right, so this is all mixed together. And then I'm just gonna add just a few petals, 
just for color. Oh, and I have a violet in there. Probably wouldn't hurt, but I don't think we want it. And there we have it, a beautiful compound butter all ready to go. So I'm gonna let this harden back up in the fridge. We're not really ready for it right now. And homemade butter does go rancid very quickly. And it's pretty warm in our house since I've been running the oven. So I think I'll just put the saran wrap back over it, put it back in the refrigerator, and we're all good to go. Now, I'm going to take you guys out. We're going to harvest some more dandelions. This time we're gonna be picking a lot of dandelions. It takes, I think, a half a gallon of flowers to make one gallon of, of dandelion wine. So we're gonna go pick those and get that going. And another kind of wine we're gonna be making together is going to be our rhubarb wine. These are not my recipes, these are just recipes I've followed and I really like them. I've tried them out for several years now and kind of have worked out some of the kinks. So I'm excited to take you guys along. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far. Like Ben said, if you have and you're enjoying it, please give us a thumbs up. I got one for me. Yeah. Oh, the 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 flowers. Beautiful. Ben, I need that. Oh, we have enough. All right, you guys, for making dandelion wine, you do not want any of these stems on here. We only want the flowers, so I'm gonna sit here and pick the stems off. somewhere more comfortable so here's the fun part all the green green equals bitter you do not want any of the green parts into your wine um, so what you have to do is pull it off like that it will take you almost no time to pick them all it will take you a long time to separate them all right, here's all our petals. There's no more green on them. Now we're gonna just take them inside. I'm gonna cover them with water and they're gonna set overnight. So I will have to show you the rest of the dandelion wine tutorial here on another day. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully we'll have it coming up maybe this Friday. I'm gonna show you guys to do today with leek and dandelion is going to be dandelion quiche. What are you gonna do? Okay, so we're gonna do leek, dandelion, and feta with I think a little bit of sharp cheddar cheese because I think the kids will like that a little bit better. I'm not gonna do a ton of leek in this, but they ate the leek soup last night, so let's try. Oh, that looks fun. Can I do that for what cutting? Yeah. Okay, you can try. Hold it. Nope. 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 Hold it. Keep your thumb back. Watch this thumb. Tuck it. Okay, nice and thin. You gotta push hard. Okay. Nice and thin. You can saw it a little bit if you have to. This is a really big knife for you. Nope. There you go. Good. Good job. <laughs> I forgot. One of the fun ingredients is because I um forgot I was going to do this is I bought some pancetta, which we never have, but I was going to wrap the asparagus and have Micah grill it. 
So we'll have to do that another time. But for now, we're just gonna fry it, put it on the stove, and the pastry is going to get cooked in the oven. Um, I don't remember bacon? if I've showed you guys my pastry recipe or not. If I if I have, I will leave a link to the video for you guys up here. Um, but otherwise, it's just a basic high crust. It's nothing fancy. a little bit but that's not a problem. We're going to mix in our sharp white cheddar, chives and dandelion greens, and feta. We'll save a little bit for sprinkling on the top. for about 35 to 40 minutes. Okay, you guys, we are all finished. Here is our beautiful dandelion quiche. I will leave the recipe down in the description box for you guys for everything we've made today. I hope that you've enjoyed all of these wonderful dandelion recipes. I will see you guys in another video again real soon. Thanks for joining me today.